Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 2 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to set up our project. We added the grid lines and levels and even the dimensions and the setting of our save uh, Revit file. So now we're going to continue working on this. Uh, what I'm going to start off is by adding wall. So we're in level one. I'm going to click on architecture and then from there, I'm going to click on wall. And then here we have basic generic wall 200 millimeters. In newer Revit, we don't have this generic model anymore. So you could choose whatever you want right here and you could just clean it up. So I'm going to show you how to clean it up. So I'm going to choose, for example, exterior. And what you have to do is click on edit type. And then here we could duplicate this. So here I'm going to put this one. I'm going to name it as all caps exterior wall number one. And then press OK. And then after that, click on edit. And then here we have our exterior side and then we have our interior side. The core boundary structure and core boundaries, those are the stuff that you cannot delete. So here you'll be able to delete the finish. So here we could just click on delete. And then once we're here at core boundaries, uh, it will be grayed out here. We're going to delete this one as well and then we're just going to leave it like this and then for our thickness i'm going to go with 150 and then with our material let's add it as gypsum wall board or anything that is white so here i'm going to select gypsum wall board and then press ok and then OK. I like to start my project with white materials first. Um, I think it's easier to see and then uh, I'll be able to set up all the materials in twin motion and sometimes I set it up here as well so that we could differentiate everything. So here I'm going to press OK and what you want to see is that your base constraint is level one because we're in level one and then your top constraint should be on level two and if you notice it's unconnected and then it's unconnected height is eight thousand we could change that you can change it here or you can change it right here under properties so here i'm just going to put it at level two and then once i change that and apply here it will change right here as well and it's already telling me that wall is center line and then the chain is checked. So we're ready to add our um, basic wall exterior. And then here we're going to start off by going to G1. And then we're going to G2. And then going up to F2 and then F3 going down again to let's zoom in here going down here to G grid line but we're just going to go all the way to G again so right here so this is G3 and then after that all the way to G5 I'm going to show the dimension grid line and then let's go all the way to C5 going across here up to 
G3. And then going down again. Right here. Going across the D grid line. So here I'm going to set up how far it will go. I'm just going to put it at 4,000. So from C3, type in going down to 4,000. And then going across this grid number 2. And then going up to D2. And then we need to go across again to D1. And then going down to G1. So this is our model. This is how it looks like. Um, obviously, there's more to add. So we're going to create the boundary walls all across here. So press escape and then escape again. Let's click on wall again. We have exterior wall number one. Let's edit this one and then duplicate. This will be exterior wall number two. We could add it as exterior wall number two and then edit. And then the thickness, let's leave it like that. But the boundary wall, I want it to have a different material. So I'm going to put in maybe a concrete wall. I'm going to add it there going up, apply, OK, and then OK. And then after that, we could add it all throughout our building. So before I connect it to C, um, let's have it top offset to around negative 100, 1000, sorry. And then after that, I'm going to click it to C5, going to A5, to A1, and then going back to D1. Press escape. And then we're going to add it here as well. So from G1, going to H1, going across to H5, and going to G5. So basically, we're just cleaning this up, closing it off. I want to see it in the, to my 3D, so I'm going to select 3D, and it will look like this. Another way of differentiating everything is um, whatever the material that we add here. So this material is concrete area tade. Area tade. Um, we could split this off and then we could add that one right here so that once we're in the modeling stage, it will look different. And also, I want to point out that we're going to basically put this one lower. Um, actually, we could put it right now. So I'm going to select this. So everything is selected. So as you can see, everything will be selected. We could select all of this by using this one window. And then instead of the base constraint, we want level one we want to put it to ground. So we're just extending this. And then for the interior wall, we could just set it up at level one. So basically we're thinking ahead right now and then adding those kind of um, parameters right now. So now next thing we're gonna do is our interior wall. So create wall and then here, we could put exterior wall number one, edit type, and then let's duplicate that because I want it to be based on 
exterior wall um, number one but I forgot to rename it I want it to be interior wall one and then the same parameters same materials thickness and those kind of stuff so press ok and then ok again um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a wall I want it to be level 1 to level 2 but without the offset you want to make sure to clean that up that's that's the parameter that we created for the border wall so here I could just add my exterior wall or interior wall right here all the way there I just want a separation because this will be our stairs and then we're going to have a a base basically a small um, powder room right here so we could have this one around 2200 and then press escape press enter you basically want to select this one and then you add the dimension right here and it will move to that dimension if you select this one it will move below or going down after that what we could do is so what my plan is is that we will have kitchen will be right here and then the dining and then we have the living room slash family room right here so now what we're gonna do is we could set up or we could add our furnitures in order for us to visualize everything so I'm gonna add in first the dining so let's go to insert load family and then we have furnitures right here and then we have tables and then right here we have something that looks like this table dining click on open and then once you insert it you can type in cm and then you'll be able to place your family right there but I want to increase the size or I want to edit a family so what you need to do is select this one this one are all the preset or preloaded dimensions that they have but what if you want to increase it more or you want to edit it so here you edit type you need to duplicate you put all the names so I'm just gonna put dining table and then we have things like right here we have the height length and then width for me I want the width to be around 2000 and then the sorry the length and then the width is around 1000 I'm gonna check it first and if I'm happy with how it looks I'll be able to just put it in place by using my arrow key and then go back to edit type and then let's see how it looks the materials you'll be able to set as well um, if you want to change the look you could add different extrusion right here if you want to edit your family so it's basically easy to edit families as long as you understand what to change and what not to do so here for us the only thing that I want to do is to change the dimensions uh, the materials you can change it here as well so now go back to insert and then load family we're gonna go and add our seating or seat 
So let's use this one, share brower, click on open, and then type in CM. And let's add that one right here. Usually I add it on one side first. And then you use your space bar to change your orientation. So I'm going to add it right there. And then once you do that, you select everything. And then click on pick mirror axis. If you have something that you can select that is the midpoint. Luckily, we have it right here. If you don't, you can select it again. And then you could use the mirror draw axis and then look for the midpoint. So those are the things that the two ways of you can add those. Or you can use the mirror. So here I'm just going to move it right here because I want to add something like a storage right here. So a China cabinet or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on load family and we have some storage right here. And I'm going to choose one of this one. We have a dresser and then we have some shelving. So I'm going to represent a China cabinet with a shelving. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to type in CM. And then space bar. And then we'll be able to add it right here. And of course, we're going to increase it. So let's edit type again. And then here, we could just duplicate and then add shelving. And then here, what we could do is we could estimate the sizing right here that we're going to add. So height, let's leave it around 2,500 because we have 3,000. And then width, we could do around 2,000. And then the depth, 250 or make it 300. Yeah, 250 only. Click on OK. And then we have something that looks like this. And we could just move it around like that. Here. I saw the credenza earlier. I want to add the credenza right here. So I'm going to load family and then put in the credenza. Click on open CM and add it right here. I want to align it at the back. So AL, align it all the way to the wall. And then here we could basically get the proper dimension right here 1722 so I'm gonna select that edit 1722 so but this is the original so we shouldn't do that we always need to duplicate that's the proper way of doing it one seven two two I believe and then we could align it right there. So that looks nicer. And then we will have the door right about right here. And then obviously, this is not all um, walls. We will add uh, windows right here all the way. So it will look really nice. So we're going to stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.